A substitute teacher is charged with a fifth degree felony after reportedly bringing a gun to a Hilliard Elementary School. Hilliard School officials say 46 year old Cynthia Wingo is no longer employed with the district. NBC4 Rosanna Hoffman is live in Hilliard. She joins us with the very latest. Anna, what can you tell us? Jennifer Hillier police say the handgun was found in a purse that belonged to Cynthia Wingo this morning. Hilliard school officials say she was teaching at Norwich Elementary yesterday, and they say this was only the third time that she has taught at the district. Wingo's purse was turned into the office by a staff member this morning, and that's where they find the 9mm handgun. Wingo has been charged with a fifth degree felony for illegal conveyance of a deadly weapon in a school safety zone. Hillier police say they are glad they found it when they did and that this situation did not end badly. Wingo was employed by the Education Service Center of Central Ohio. They say they are aware of this incident and sent us this statement. We are aware of this serious incident involving Miss Wingo and they are currently investigating. The matter is being reported to the Ohio Department of Education and she will not be permitted to substitute for any school during the investigation. Hilliard City Schools says Wingo will no longer be able to teach at the district as well. I did reach out to them for an interview and they said nobody is available at this time. Local for you in Hilliard, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4. All right, Anna, thank you. One person is in critical condition after a shooting on I-70 eastbound earlier today. Columbus police responded just after noon after hearing reports of shots fired near the exit ramps to Bexley and Main Street. A detective at the scene told NBC4 one man was shot while driving three other people in the car, a woman and two children. The passengers managed to escape without injury. Police say it is possible this was a road rage incident. The shooting closed a portion of the interstate this afternoon, but it has since reopened.